Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about modifying the list web parts using content types. So content types are the basics for everything in SharePoint. So I'm going to go into the site content types and see that on the list content types here, there are a bunch of them. And the one that we'll, we've been using in the IT tickets is the um, task. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in and create a new one with just the fields that I want to display when um, a person is entering a new help desk ticket. So I'm going to call that entry IT ticket. So I'm going to go and change that to a list content type and it's going to build on top of the tasks. And I'm going to put that in my new group here called Contoso. So I'll have all my own content types there. Then the beauty of this is that I can go in and modify which field should be here. Percent complete when you enter a ticket will of course always be zero. So I'm going to hide that one. The assigned to should of course also be hidden because that's something that we assign internally, not when people are entering the tickets maybe. The body, they want that. Of course, the predecessors, most likely they won't fill that out. So I'm going to hide that too. The task status, that's always going to be open when we start it. So we don't need that either. So in the related items, we can hide that one too. So now in my IT tickets list, I'll go into the actual list here. There we go. And edit the list settings. And I'm going to go in under advanced settings and tell SharePoint that I want to allow management of content types on this list. And then click OK. And go back to the list settings again. And here's the section on content types. I'm going to add this content type here. The Contoso content type, the entry ticket, there we go. And then I'm going to make this the default one. So I'm going to change the new button order, make the entry the default, so I'm going to change that to number one. The first content type will be the default. So now you'll notice when I create a new ticket, new item, I only get the basic ones there not all those ones that I set to hidden. And of course, now I can create a new simple task like that. And then I'm just going to go and save that. There's the one simple task. Now, at the next stage, when you open that form to edit it, like that, the edit, you'll notice that I can switch it over now. I can switch to an issue. And what happens then is that all the hidden fields get displayed there. So you'll have one content type for each phase that your ticket is in that's being entered or it's being worked at. And you can have different columns available in the form by doing that. So I think that's a rather powerful solution. Thank you for watching this demonstration.